hello guys and welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it thank you very much for clicking today's video is sadly on a very very sad note my heart is very very heavy at the moment and from the title i'm sure that you clicked on it because something is trending in nigeria and you would like to hear my opinion on it and i am very very saddened because it took the death of a child it took us losing a child with so much potential for us to understand that something is fundamentally wrong with our educational system for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about if you're listening to me outside of nigeria or you do not know a boy has died in a nigerian boarding school the name of the boarding school is Darwin international school something like that in leki leki is in lagos it's an is in an affluent part of lagos in nigeria and a boy died there in a boarding school as a result of bullying so there are so many conflicting stories around what happened to the boy but we are glad that we saw the last videos of his final moments and it was very very gut-wrenching guys i don't have the stamina i don't have the stomach for it i cannot watch that video again and i'm not going to place it here so i'm very sorry i'll put a link in the description it's my whatsapp link and if you are interested i will send it to you there so you can see it but frankly speaking it's not something i want to see again but why am i here to talk because something like this, we've already had it in the offing for a very, very long time. We have watched the educational institution go down the drain. And it's something that has been happening forever in boarding schools. It started from unity schools. And they thought it was a way of instilling discipline until bullying became got to another level to the point where right now, I understand even cultism has become a, ma a matter in secondary schools. So what happened to this boy is that, first of all, the school is in an affluent neighborhood so for you to be able to afford 10 uh, 1 million naira i understand the school fees is 1 million naira if somebody can afford 1 million naira as school fees then that person is not an ordinary nigerian he belongs to the upper class so it is the children of these upper class persons that were bullying this boy until they bullied him to death let's say it in very very plain terms no matter how you try to beat around the bush they bullied that boy to death Okay, he had broken limbs. He had this, his mouth was looking so terrible as you can see in the picture here. So they forced him to ingest something and last, last, this boy died. And according to the story, they, his friends, okay, this is the official account that the school gave. According to the school authority, that this boy was brought to the sick bay by his friends when he said his legs were paining him. And then the school called after giving him some drugs he felt a little bit better and called his parents to come to the school that is what the school authority said but all i know is that if the school can give accounts saying that the boy was playing football and it was from playing football that he injured himself then i don't believe that injuring your limbs from football should make you have these kind of things on your lips Okay, this boy was forced to ingest something. And this is one of the times when we, we must stand together as a country and make sure that this death is investigated and heads roll. Now, therein lies the problem. Because in Nigeria right now, there is a whole scale absence of justice. People think that because they have money, they can do whatever they want and get away with it. This is the tweet. This is the chat that is trending right now between the sister of the boy and one of the boys who is said to be the perpetrator. One of the perpetrators. Do you understand me? Telling them that he knows the, the his father knows the chief justice of the federation and therefore this matter is going to die. It, as a matter of fact, they should bet 500k. 500k is more than my salary, but that they should bet 500k. Such a little boy who is of secondary school age is betting 500k. This brings me to a lot of issues that I would like to talk about right now. We as parents, we must get to the point where we should take responsibility for everything we do to our children. I keep telling people that after God, the next person with the responsibility to protect your child is you. Not every school that they say is a boarding school we stand for, for education, is actually an educational institution. Most of them are being run as businesses. Okay, so you find that the school authority was spineless. They must have known that they have these psychopaths in their school. But because these are children of rich people and they are greedy, they don't want the father to be annoyed and withdraw his child out of the school. Therefore, they will allow this kind of thing to happen. And it happens all over our institutions. The rich, spoiled brats always do whatever they want and get away with it. They came from homes where they saw their parents doing whatever they want and getting away with it. Therefore, it... it a good tree cannot be a bad foot. I'm sorry, I'm so short of words. Okay? 
this thing now we can place it side by side with the don davis matter because it happened again in another boarding school before now but the difference is that the mother of that child went gangster she did not keep quiet about it she stood in spite of what people were going to say in spite of the fact that she was looking as if she's crazy the woman said lie lie but kuisaba justice must be done in this case and i understand that both the school authorities the perpetrators are all going to be tried the boys are going to be tried in juvenile courts and this brings me to the second matter again if you are a parent and you know that your child is a monster deal with the monster you created in your house don't take him to a school a lot of people think a boarding school is a place for you to go and abdicate your responsibilities please if other people have taken their time to raise their child to be right thinking members of the society and you think you have an entitled brat understand that the school a boarding school is not a rehabilitation center okay and another thing with these boarding schools is that the teachers are so under motivated especially the private school the teachers are not motivated at all to do what their responsibilities are therefore if they see a child that is a brat they are going to say that they can't come and kid yourself they can't come and kid yourself so please let us take responsibility for the places that we think are boarding schools you want to put your child make sure that the school read their mission statement engage have an interface with the teachers that are in the school with the proprietors of the school the management of the school know what their values are know what they stand for are they against or for bullying what about corporate corporal punishment do they think it's okay to flog children what about education and then molding the child into a member of the society that we can be proud of or is it like and that is the case now most of the people that are running you see them all over this place running schools most of them are running these schools as businesses so that door when i can dare you that that school is essentially a business for the people it's not because they feel like they are called to be educationists and they want to mold society no okay for you to go and situate a school in lekki is because you want to be charging one million naira to make money so that school is essentially a business any other interest that is going to compete with their desire to make money that place that other thing is not going to stand okay so if your child is misbehaving then for them to expel your child they will just keep quiet and continue to go small 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 because you will pay what about the other children if you are listening to me what about the other children if you are a school proprietor make sure that you test even the character of a child before you take him it's not all about enrollment the little ones that you have just manage them and give them the best and bequeath a better citizen to the country so that people don't continue thinking that they can get away whatever they want if they knew that there were going to be consequences and i've said it here impunity is the grandfather of just about every vice you can think of if these children had known that something is going to happen to them they will not do the kind of things that they did with so much boldness go into a boy's hostel lock put off the lights and then start beating that boy up you beat him up only god knows how you broke his limbs it forced him to eat something a chemical we are very sure it's a chemical because of the effect that it has on its mouth because these children know that their parents are going to start pulling strings okay and so they break all these types of monsters from the homes and some parents are too lazy to look after their child they will just advocate the responsibility to schools because they think schools are rehabilitation centers when you have your pta meetings make sure that people know that if your child is misbehaving and you do not keep him on a leash we are not going to do it you can take your child and train him we should also create an enabling environment for our children to talk to us anything at all in this world your child should see you as a friend i know that there are times when parenting and uh, and friendship will begin to conflict but understand your responsibility as a parent after god you are the person that has the next responsibility of protecting your child against bullies against all sorts of predators okay this brings me to an incident that happened to me personally when i was about 17 years old there was this neighbor of ours who came from the united kingdom that time and now back then i didn't know exactly what this man was trying to do but now i'm older and wiser i have a word for what he was trying to do to me he was trying to traffic me so he told me that he wanted to me to follow him to the united kingdom because he thinks i am brilliant and he wants me to come and study law in the united kingdom I was 17 he didn't tell that to my mom or anybody he told me and i went and told my mom if the communication lines were not open between me and my mom i wouldn't have told them i would probably have gone to follow him foolish girl i would have probably gone to follow him to the united kingdom and then that is it that would be the end for me i'll probably go and end up as a sex slave and i won't be here making this video i remember telling my mother and my mother nearly went mad she said what she went and met that man right in the middle of the streets and told him that if she catches him my mom anybody who knows that woman may god rest her soul 
she went and told the neighborhood police and told his church pastor that in case her daughter gets missing, she's going to hold him responsibility. We're in this Lagos, we're northerners, and if my daughter gets missing, I'm going to show you guys that I have Juju. Don't you ever approach my daughter again with taking her to London. Me too, I know the road to London. That was exactly the way my mom reacted. And I think back then, I didn't really know why was mommy doing this. I was like, mommy, ah, Yazaki, Kichihaka, all he did was trying to help. Now I'm older and wiser, I know that that man was a predator. So make sure that communication lines are always open between you and your child. Some of us were raising children and our children are so afraid of us. We think it's a form of discipline when your child cannot talk to you. So some of you here, your child is being bullied in school and he cannot come and tell you. Somebody is raping your child. Somebody is taking advantage of your child and they will threaten to tell you. And your child will give into a blackmailer outside because he's afraid of what you are going to say. Let's take responsibility for our children. Every child is precious. And then more importantly, we should always make sure that for every action, there is a consequence regardless of who you are. If these children think that their father is rich, their mother is rich, and they can afford to pay away, there's something we say in household language. You cannot withstand the anger of 200 million Nigerians. If all Nigerians stand up, these things have been happening for so long. Some people have lost vital organs. Some people now it has gotten to the point where people feel they can take the life of another person. You can do whatever you want to children that are in your care. I think that this management of the school should be held responsible for criminal negligence. Yes, there is a sort of criminality. If this kind of thing is happening under your domot and you know about it, then you don't do anything about it. It's criminal negligence and heads have to roll. And I'm not talking about fining. I'm talking about people should take jail terms and they should serve those jail terms with hard labor. These are the only ways that these kind of things will stop. If people know that they are, there will be action, there will be consequences. Go to private schools and see what is happening. And that is the reality of this country. Until we join our hands together and make sure that people understand that if you do something there will be punishment these kind of things will not stop it happened in premier academy where a girl lost her life again on account of these kinds of things people don't hold the, the hold, do, people don't take their responsibilities seriously i went to a boarding school and the reason why my mom sent me to a boarding school was because she felt i was too lazy and i understand there is a structure for any school to function properly there was a structure and at every point in time for this thing to happen we know who to hold responsibility if it is not done back then in my own school i went to federal government girls college voucher so i went to a government school okay there was the principal there was the vice principal admin and academic then there was the senior boarding house mistress then there was the house mistress then there was the matron who used to stay in the hotel area and then inside the hotel there was a matron that used to spend the night with us inside the hostel Okay, so everything that happens overnight, in case there's a fire, there's a fight, whatever, there is always somebody that is supervising us. So I don't understand what kind of structure these private schools have. And there's an indiscriminate proliferation of these private schools. Everywhere you turn, so 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 and so international schools, just because they do the building, they make it beautiful, you think it is okay. Sometimes it is not okay. Let's take responsibility. Let us do all we can to make sure that we do not lose more lives than we already are losing. These children are precious. So let us put life on the value of a Nigerian. If you are listening to me and you would like to do something about it, there's a petition that is going around right now. I will put the link again in the description box. Please sign that petition to make sure that the authorities of Darwin College, Lekki, we make sure that they pay for their crime. There's a rumor going around that the boys who perpetrated this because their parents are rich, they've been flown out of the country. If you can fly your child out of the country, then it means you are ready to take his place. Yes, I know that in law, you cannot hold another person responsible for the crime of another. But at the point in time, if that is actually true, then the point in time when you, the parent, you flew your child out of the country, you have become an accomplice. But heads have to roll. We must make sure that justice is done so that this baby's soul can rest in peace, so that the parents can also at least have some peace. I know that it's not going to be easy, okay? But let us place value on the life of Nigerians. Let's place value on the lives of our children. Let them know that they are, that they are important to us. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'm very sorry. I have to stop this rant at this moment. I'm so, so sad. I have some work to do at the moment and I need to go to the office. So I need to dress up and go to the office. Please hmm? take care of yourself. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't and drop me a comment. Let me know your opinion. If you have signed the petition, let me also know. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Hmm?